Barbie is back. I think it's a good time for us to to talk a little more about this film from 18 years ago. Right, The Tribe. It was such a distillation of all of our conversations about what it meant to be Jewish, especially being like, blonde, blue-eyed Jews in a very assimilated America. That same weekend, uh, Ruth Handler died. And I was remember, it was like the Sunday of that weekend reading the New York Times obituary. And I, I had known that she was Jewish. And I couldn't believe they didn't mention it. It was like they buried the lead because I thought it was like the great irony that the ultimate shiksa was created by a Jew. And so to me, it was really a interesting way to es- explore assimilation. It was a perfect device to explore all these ideas. And I feel like just like Barbie, you could take off the limbs and change the outfits. It was like a a great, you know, way to unpack and dismantle these ideas. Let's talk about Barbie. Well, the Barbie was interesting because the whole idea was we wanted to address people who wouldn't go out and see a Jewish film. Barbie was like a, like a Trojan horse. We were going to like, pack all the ideas inside of Barbie. And then you you went and saw the film and then we just like pushed out all the ideas onto you. I feel like we were trying to distill um, 5,000 years of Jewish history and identity into this like very short, compact um, whirlwind experience through the Barbie doll. Right, because you because everybody loves Barbie. Or the hater. I think we could fairly say that people have a lot of feelings about Barbie. This doll is so complex that yeah. you can't just read it on face value. It, you, you have to understand it as what what does it really mean? And I think that we got to that idea of thinking of Jews as outsiders yeah. and the line that that it would take the the ultimate an outsider to really create the ultimate insider. Yeah. So Barbie yeah. is the depiction of what insiders look like from an outsider. I don't know if the circumstances were the same, would she create the same one? I mean, she was she was a brilliant businesswoman. One of my favorite lines in the film still, well, I have a couple, is, um, you know, because Ruth Handler created the Barbie doll. She also had a double mastectomy and created a prosthetic breast company. So the line in the film is, Ruth Handler made two fortunes from plastic boobs. I thought that was, still makes me laugh. (laughs) 